Hi team, it's Kate from The Fold Dine and I'm back this week with a new video for you all. This week I'm doing something a little bit different. I am talking spoon flour. So for those of you who haven't heard of spoon flour, it is a US based custom print fabric company. I know, pretty mega. Um, so the premise is, is that you can upload your design on their site and get it printed in a number of different fabrics. The other way that you can use it, which is what I did because I was so overwhelmed by the choice, is that you can go onto their site and choose from loads of different prints from indie designers that have been uploaded. So if you, I think the deal is that if you buy their print, then they get a cut from Spoonflower, which is really nice because it's supporting kind of independence. Um, so I decided to go down that route because I went on there and there were so many things that I fell in love with. I was like, I'm not going to design my own. I'm just, I'm just going to buy what's there. Um, so Spoonflower contacted us because they wanted to talk about some of their dressmaking fabrics. And as someone who loves a fabric stroke, I said, yes, of course, send us some stuff. So they have sent us some fabrics and I am going to talk you through the quality of them because it's really hard as someone, you know, when you're buying stuff online, you don't know what the quality is like, you're looking at a flat, you know, basically a flat image, and it's very hard to know if it's got drape. So I picked dressmaking fabrics and I'm going to talk you through those and tell you about the quality and you'll be able to see the drape and how it moves. And yeah. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is probably my most favorite pat of fabric that I got. So this is, I know, this print is amazing, isn't it? Check it out. Little cactuses. Um, this is a sports lycra. And this is really interesting. Beautiful quality, really nice drape. You can see in the from there how nicely it drapes. Um, just lovely quality. And really, if you're looking for like active wear, um, fabrics then I would really recommend this I was really I was like I, well actually I was really impressed with the quality of it it's really nice um, so I picked I just I mean can you imagine having a pair of leggings in this I mean everyone would be jealous of you at the gym wouldn't they so the pattern that I have picked for this is the Soholic um, Pacific leggings and I thought these were, I looked and looked through all of the patterns and I was thinking about how it would work. And because this is quite a big print, I think you'd need something without too many seams. So this, these leggings were actually perfect for it. And they'd be quite a simple make. You can make them in lots of different sizes. And I thought that they, this would work perfectly with this. So yeah, I'll pop a picture up on the screen so you can have a look at the um, pattern and the line drawing as well so you can see how, how it would work in terms of pattern matching. Right, the next fabric. So we're staying on the sports lycra theme because I got two of these because I fell in love with this print. It's so cute. Look at that. Little goldfish, so nice. And the quality of this is beautiful. It's sort of done, it looks like it's been done in a watercolour. Um, yeah, again, it's exactly the same fabric as before, but really, really nice quality. Um, yeah, I just love this. So I'm definitely, I'm going to use this and make myself a bikini, I think, if I've got enough fabric. Um, so the pattern that I picked to go with it is laptop here to remind me of all of the names of the patterns it's the Dakota swimsuit from um, Seamwork magazine so this is sort of a high-waisted bikini um, if you haven't come across Seamwork patterns the premise is that you can make them all each one in under three hours so this would be quite a speedy little make um, yeah simple construction it ties around the back um, it's got a seam like over the center of your bust which means fitting will be much easier on it and yeah I thought it was a nice simple make and it would look so good with the goldfish let's be honest so up next so we're moving on I've actually got a different fabric now so 
we've got a cotton spandex um, jersey. Love this print. A sort of wobbly herringbone. Really cute. Um, in terms of the structure of the fabric, so you can see from here, it's not super drapey, it's actually quite structured. Um, so you need to bear that in mind if you're using it. Um, I would probably, it's almost like quite a structured t-shirt material. Um, so you need to bear that in mind with this. Um, so the fabric, I mean, it definitely, I think a, a dress, I'm not sure it would work so well with. Um, it would work, with, it needs to be fitted. It just doesn't have that sort of drape that you get from some of them. Um, some of the other jerseys so I think that's something definitely to bear in mind. The pattern that I picked which will work perfectly and look so cute with this is the Piper Top from Christine Haynes. Um, this is quite a simple little top, um, funnel neck, kind of like a basic tee with a funnel neck and I thought it looked really cute with all of your sort of like under a dungaree dress or or dungarees, it would look nice with jeans and it would work perfectly with this fabric. It's got just that right bit of structure and the nice thing about this sort of quality of fabric is that it doesn't stick to your lumps and bumps, it just glides over them which is which is always quite nice. So yeah this is a nice fabric actually, I was pleased with it and um, I think it's got a kind of decent amount of stretch but not too much but yeah quite structured so that's something to bear in mind. So the next one that I have chosen, <clears throat> I went for the, I think it's, let me just double check, it's the heavy cotton twill um, and I just, this is so cute this print, it's like a little miffy bunny and um, yeah you can see from this it's it's got the twill so it's got the diagonal lines running down it that you'd expect but yeah this is a really like fully full-on structured sort of um structured fabric you probably i don't think you'd want to make any dressmaking stuff with this it's like you know it's it's basically bag weight material which i mean it would just look so nice as as a bag so i've actually picked a bag pattern that i thought would look amazing for this um it's from Stoff and Still, which is a Danish company, and it's a sort of. I, let me just find the bag number because it's got an, all their patterns are numbered, which is quite confusing. It's nine o two three seven. Again, I'll pop a link down below to the patterns if you want to go and have a look. Um, this is like a little duffel bag, and I thought it would be perfect, perfect for the Miffy. Like, can you imagine going to go? like going to the gym and taking this with you it'd be so nice or a weekend sort of bag it'd be perfect um yeah and it's quite a simple make um a fun make as well and definitely yeah i thought it'd be perfect with this sort of fabric so up next this was something i was really interested in seeing because silk is a fabric that has just got beautiful drape i was really intrigued to see what the quality would be like of this fabric because you know offering silk crepe de chine is quite is quite a um it's quite an offering so i was actually i was really really impressed with the quality so this is the print that i've picked which is this lovely sort of painty painty sort of effect um it's a really nice quality you can see look from here like how what the drapes like and it would look amazing in a sort of a blouse. Um, the only thing I would say is if I put my top underneath, you can see it is actually quite a sheer, um, it's quite a sheer sort of fabric. So you might need to think about lining something or just taking that into consideration when you're buying it because yeah, this, I think you might need to line stuff with this. But yeah, this I just thought this print was beautiful and I love the scale of it and the color. Um, really nice so the pattern that i picked to go with it is the matcha top from so liberated and i really like this little blouse it was released a couple of months ago maybe three months ago and i thought it was a really nice it's like a, a basic blouse but with some twists 
um, it comes in a sleeveless version as well as a sleeved version and yeah I just thought it was a really nice pattern and it would work perfectly with this sort of silk with the little ruffles at the shoulder it would look really nice you gather them in and yeah I think you'd need to think about what sort of scale of print you're using for this top but I I really like that sort of large scale on on more detailed sort of garments so yeah that was my pick for this so the next fabric I chose I I basically wasn't 100% sure what I was getting but I chose it because of the name which is Minky and um, I I thought it might be what it was and it is this really well I love the print which of this is really nice but it's like a plush so it's it's like super soft it feels like I mean you just want to you basically just want to hug it it's so nice and it's the nap is quite it's quite um it's not very long so it's quite a sort of dense nap but it's super super soft and lovely so I got it and I was like what what would I make with this I'm not sure would I make a dressing gown or and actually I've got loads of friends at the moment who are having kids and I thought this would make the loveliest toy, little stuffed toy that you could give to someone. And actually you wouldn't need very much fabric either, which is also a bonus. So the one, the fabric, I mean the pattern that I picked is this really sweet little bunny rabbit from Cra Crafty Kooka. I think Kooka is the right word. Um, yeah, I thought it would work perfectly with it and it'd be lovely to give to someone as a present. So that would be what I would recommend to use with this. And yeah, I just think this is so cool. Like, who knew you could get this stuff? And actually, it does have a... Now I'm holding up and looking at it, it's got, it actually does have a really nice drape to it. Yes. So, last but not least, I have got... I ordered their basic cotton because I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, I got it in a really fun print. So this was the print that I chose so so cute little lemons with crisscrosses on um yeah so if I'm being honest this to me feels more like a poly cotton than a cotton um it is not super super soft and as you can see from it, it's quite structured if it were me I would use this more for a craft project than a dressmaking project if you were use if you're making something quite a top that was quite structured this would work I did find one pattern a sort of it's like, well, it's a cross between the two, which I thought would work quite well. Um, this is the Maria Wrap apron from Marvin Patterns. So anyone out there who bakes or makes stuff, does messy stuff, I thought this was a really nice sort of apron come dress. So it, it is an apron, but it fully wraps the entire way around you and crosses over at the back. So it's quite a nice pattern if you do do something messy because it... You know, I don't know about you, but if ever I've been cooking, I end up with things like smeared down the side of my jeans that I haven't noticed, even if I'm wearing an apron. This goes the entire way round, so there is literally no chance that you could get stuff down you. Um, yeah, I thought this was a nice pattern and quite a simple make and actually lovely to give someone as a gift. So that would be the pattern that I would choose to go with this sort of, with the cotton. So that's it really. Um, I will pop links down below to all the um, fabric prints that I have mentioned in the video. So if you want to go and have a look on the Spoonflower site at them, do prepare to be overwhelmed because there are so many prints to pick from. But they are, I mean, there's just such beautiful stuff on there. You can definitely, I mean, there is no way that you won't be able to find something that you're looking for when you're on there. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I would really love to hear your thoughts on Spoonflower. Have you ordered from them before? Have you uploaded your fabrics and got them printed? Yeah, I'd, let me know down below because I'd really like to hear you, uh, you know, have you used it? What do you think of it? Um, yeah, let me know. And we will be back soon with another video. Bye.